Sounds pretty good right about now. Time to turn to Sean Quinn with the weather, and we've been kind of going a little bit between hot coffee season and <laughs> iced coffee season. Say, yeah, shave ice, there's uh, two types of people, those that say they don't like it and those that are lying. So, <laughs> All right, uh, we do have the wind advisory for portions of San Luis Obispo County. That'll drop off tomorrow morning, and then as we head a little farther to the south and east, it'll drop off in Ventura County as the Santa Ana tends to be a little stronger there about 2 o'clock. So that's the good news is with the warmth, probably some heightened fire concerns wildfire, but at least we know this is going to be a short term event and boy, look at that getting kind of close to the records right there set back in 2007 as you can see in our overnight lows actually going a tad bit below normal and that's because of the really dry energy that comes in with these offshore events look at that 16 degrees above where you should be yesterday we were just about two degrees or three degrees above uh, in Santa Maria and you jumped that much so it really shows you the dramatic effect of the wind change losing the ocean influence and you go into the 70s and 80s even rubbing very closely bumping up against those 90s in some of the warmest areas and Pismo Beach, very little sea breeze influence whatsoever, and you got to 82 degrees today. Currently widespread 50s, a few 60s out there, a couple 70s holding on, and the glaring uh, obvious uh, effect of that north wind in Gaviota, which also can be seen as you notice right here, you see 16 miles an hour, so 78 degrees there, upper 50s in Goleta, and then look at the humidity value as Goleta gets the ocean influence, Gaviota does not, and it's just so dramatic to see that. You see it almost every night, it seems like, lately with uh, the north wind. So it really is amazing to watch. Now, tropical issues, we're going to watch this really, really close. Uh, IOTA is shaping up to be possibly a disaster. I mean, this is what we're looking at. The National Hurricane Center has already said possible uh, catastrophic uh, issues with this because ADA has already gone through and really beat up their infrastructure in Honduras, Nicaragua. It's, a, it's an area of the world that doesn't have a lot of uh, infrastructure that is very strong for this type of stuff. So 30 plus inches of rain could occur and they're going to have to watch this extremely closely. This is the path and it's almost identical to where ADA was just a, a few days ago really for the most part category three storm and then it slowly works its way across the isthmus and it looks like it takes aim for maybe running into the pacific but overall honduras and nicaragua really just don't need to see this happening and it's it's going to be something they need to watch closely very warm breezy conditions on monday real quick i call it the whiplash effect here we go right back the other way by tuesday as we get the high pressure the area of high pressure breaks down we'll lose the santa Ana quickly on monday and then we go cooler with more clouds tuesday and then a slight chance of maybe a sprinkle showing up once we get to very late Tuesday, probably more Wednesday morning. We'll go ahead and look at the future cast and look how clear that is with that Santa Ana. But then rapidly, the clouds come flying back in late Tuesday, going into Wednesday. And there's the little blurbs of rain. Not a whole lot. Tries to get into the channel, and then it just rapidly falls apart. And that's indicative of a storm coming out of the north with not a whole lot of push behind it. Uh, probably a little bit more breezy conditions, cooler, cloudy, obviously, but not much of the gold which of course would be the rain. The good news is extreme Northern California and the Sierra starting to see some action and that's what we'll take. And you can see here with rain totals being almost minimal, maybe a tenth to two tenths north of Point Conception, which is right about here, and then fractional, almost minimal or zero once you go south and east down into Southern California. Wind will stay fairly calm. You notice it burst, a little burst tomorrow morning and that's the offshore Santa Ana wind direction. It's more prone to Ventura and Southern California. So so therefore they get a little bit more in your 80s and 70s on Monday. Now take a snapshot of your area and look what happens as we go to Tuesday. You knock off about 10 to 15, even more degrees as we really uh, reverse that wind and we get that more of an ocean influence and also the chance for some rain showing up in the uh, seven day forecast. Sunny, breezy and very warm for Monday. Uh, it's just said that probably about five times how warm it's going to be tomorrow and um, can't say it enough because wow, when you're talking about mid 80s and even upper 80s for some areas, you're really looking at an extremely warm day and that will be for everybody. Of course, heightened fire concern, but it will be a brief event real quick we do have uh, we do have some swell out there water is very cool quick look at a forecast map that shows the surf wind and tides and minor coastal overflow is possible as we have a new moon started today and that means you have a big swing in tides quick look at our seven day forecast there's that whiplash from monday tuesday going to wednesday slight chances of sprinkles probably not going to happen in all areas and i'm going to be sending it off to break in just a second here and of course uh, bring the umbrella on wednesday 
Wednesday, but probably won't need it, especially for those areas uh, to the south and east of Point Conception. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Check, one, two, mic check.